Hi everyone and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure FTDV using FDN, the Firewall Device Manager and uh, to, con to allow port forwarding uh, from the external internet to a SSH client, my Kali machine behind the FTDV. We'll show you how to do custom port forwarding uh, you know, that allows port 11222 uh, to basically be port, be forwarded to port 22 of the SSH uh, Kali machine behind my FTDV, right? Uh, it's quite useful uh, in the lab environment as, you know, a lot of time, uh, especially for the cloud lab environment, you know, your default port might be 22, right? So you might have already uh, the base or the main machine listening on port 22, Therefore, you know, you can't use back the same port, right? So the custom port forwarding becomes very useful, uh, especially for SSH as a Linux machine in the cloud is actually very, very popular. Okay, so with that, let's hop over to FDM itself. Okay, so I have already gotten already my browser. Let's... connect to the FDM okay so first thing we need to do is go to policies okay uh, you can see that my Windows RDP rule is still there so what we're gonna do is to add a net policy right so select add and uh, I showed you how to use the destination port to configure in this tutorial I'll show you how to use the inside out logic right it works as well uh, if you look at it uh, from even from IP table perspective it's just how you define the values right so don't get confused right if you are confused uh, you know just follow whatever that you are comfortable with okay so this is a port address translation from outside to internal SSH, right? Naming is not consistent, right? Uh, as this is a demo environment, so not going to be too bothered, but you know, follow your own lab or company naming convention. Okay, now we're going to do this, right? Which can be quite confusing for those who are familiar with uh, IP tables, right? We're going to specify the source interface, which is the inside Kali machine. Now, what we're going to do is to specify the source IP, which is the Kali machine, but we'll show you how to do a, you know, manual creation if you have not done it, right? 001 YT, right? So, the host, if you remember, is 172.16.2.198. It's the IP address, internal IP address. Click on OK. Uh, let's select. YouTube right so the source port we're not going to change anything it is the default SSH port right which is port 22 now we will map it to the outside right so is the flow the logic comes from the other way around but it doesn't matter because we're just doing a net rule we still need to configure the access rule right so the source interface is we're going to have the interface right we're doing port address translation so the traffic will hit the outside interface uh, if you see the remember the diagram and the flow and then this part is where we're going to do the custom uh, H, uh, SSH I already done one so I'm going to create another one same thing right uh, you know you can always do your configuration in advance for objects or you can do this uh, on the fly right TCP port 111 like I mentioned is triple one double two okay this is what I've done on my IP tables uh, destination and source net, right? Oops, and you need to select and then click on OK. So you can see, right? This is actually actually the reverse of what I've configured for the RDP rule, right? So once that's done, go to access rule first before we deploy. Uh, you can add a rule, right? And then allow out. Oh, to in SSH custom port one two two right so this part is pretty much universal I think most of the firewalls in IP table 
does the same, right? So you allow ice, uh, outside zone, any traffic coming in to the inside zone or the inside interface, uh, specify the Kali machine, okay? And then specify the port, right? So don't get confused here, right? Uh, you might be thinking, should I use the custom SSH port or the SSH port? Now, the net rule is to tell the FTD that you know you will be receiving the custom port and then forward it to the actual port right so when you configure the access rule this should be the actual port that you are trying to terminate to right which is the default ssh port 22 okay so once that's done just uh wait for it to you know um provide you with the configuration uh that you're going to deploy you can review it and once that's done uh just click deploy it now right so similarly the rule configuration is pretty straightforward the deployment takes a little bit of time so we're going to let it uh complete and then we can do the testing okay let's just wait for it to complete while i pause the video for a short while okay you'll see that the deployment is done so now let's uh try and connect to my SSH. So let's do a file quick connect. Okay, so the host name and then we're gonna connect using the port triple one double two, right? We're gonna use a password for this and let's Okay, my apologies, my IP table, two tier routing, I did not forward properly, right? So, uh, if you see, right, um, you know, now that I've rectified my first part of the firewall, the second part of the FTD V now is working, right? So, you can see now I can log in. And you can see, that I am connected to my IP address 172.16.2.198 and let's look at the rules again right the net rule is uh, done right so you can see uh, I've created this using a inside out uh, logic right for Kali using source port right uh, to the outside interface and then uh, custom SSH port when you're uh, receiving the traffic from the external internet right so it's a very useful rule right uh, for for you to port forward maybe you want access to a machine behind the firewall for your remote side it could be a teller machine point of sales that allows a certain custom port connection or SSH that you want to do uh, without any VPN connection so this is a quick and easy way to do your net configuration the access control rule is the same right so this is how easy it is to configure your uh, FTDV uh, using FDM to do custom port mapping to a device behind your uh, firewall okay so let's just do a quick recap um, on the flow Right, so let's change this. It is supposed to be triple one one two. So, as you can see, I have actually configured the client which you saw just now. Uh, the SSH client, you know, from port one one two, right? Um, targeting the public IP address of my KVM server or you want to server in the cloud right uh, using the domain name um, the traffic hits the kvm it gets routed over to the uh, virtual bridge one which is acting as a you know sort of a bridge and router that forwards the packet uh, receive the packet keeps the translation tables or connection tables then it forwards to the outside interface uh, of the FTDV, which is 172.16.1.2, uh, which is the you know outside interface and the gateway of the one right? And then from here, it will then 
um, do the net translation okay a dynamic sorry static port address translation right and then uh, Static port address translation, you know, your pet, and then of course, um, to port one one uh, to port twenty two, right? So, uh, that's how it looks like, right? And that's how it works. Okay, I didn't show you on the uh, SSH port itself what is the connection. Uh, yep, but uh, that's how the whole uh, setup works, right? So we successfully configure a custom port address translation on FTDV to allow you to connect to the Kali client or the you know Linux machine. Uh, at the back of the FTV in the cloud, right? So as you can see, once this is set up, you know, my cloud lab is really up and running. I could isolate it using a two-tier firewall, do my, you know, um, threat analysis or even malware analysis uh, in the cloud itself, right? Uh, with lower risk of, of infecting my home network. The risks are always there, right? Um, and security is important. Right, it's not hundred percent foolproof, but learning all this technology will hopefully help you to, you know, protect your company's assets or your home environment uh, much better as you learn all this technology. So thank you very much for watching. Take care and stay tuned for the next video.